Friends, good morning. Welcome to you. Welcome to Buck and Billy Ray's YouTube channel. It's good to see you here this morning. I hope you're doing well. I truly do. Now, have you just picked up a power saw and started to get into axes and power saws and, and running, running chainsaw or power saw, whatever you want to call it? Have you just started doing that? Have you got a long bar on your power saw or a short bar? Do you have big firewood you're cutting, medium, small? Well, today I've got a pile of garbage. This is what we're calling it today. It's small wood like this. It's been there a while. It's scattered all over the place. It's like, eh, whatever. Not the funnest bucking scenario, but it's got to get done. So friends, today I go in with a 32 inch bar on a, on a, and I got a 28 on the little home light there as well, but I run a couple different vintage power saws. We're breaking in Tin Man 66, but friends, this is a scenario where I get questions all the time and people send me little videos of them running running chainsaw or power saw and asking me questions and i'm telling you something i love it i love it the bucking experience uh doug blake and tim blake happy birthday tim i'm getting to your guys's video slowly but surely on the bucking experience don't stop sending them hashtag bucking experience you got a question kick it in there mind you there's some videos that say kids only or something like that and your comments are turned off friends you got to go in there and change your settings to this video is not made for kids or no one can comment so i can't comment to your video so i can't answer your questions so but i'm reading your videos mr scott black yours is good we talked about the firewood stand i love it i love the idea anyway we'll talk more about that friends this video is me bucking really small wood with, with how I do it, with a long bar. If you're just getting into running power saw, look at this closely. I just turn the camera on and I say, watch me buck this wood. Friends, let's get into the video. Bucking small wood with a long bar. Over and out. small wood and lots of it and another reason that right there stand up and buck this is what this is about today Thank you. 
just a nice little assortment of some small wood cutting saws. The 266 will take on big wood. That's uh, Tin Man's new 66 I just got from him. Uh, I'm just feeling that saw out still. Got a bit of time on it, not as much as I'd like to, and I'm waiting for a wrap bar from our good man, Bayou Country Power Saws. Here's our little friends. This is our laser beam. This is this is a this is a laser beam built, a laser beam build, and we just named this the laser beam for the style of axe it is. And uh, there's a video called "Wow, is this an axe or is it a laser beam, or is this a laser beam or an axe?" It went it went pretty good. I got it's got almost like four million views, which surprised the heck out of me. I had no I had no inclination why that would do that. No idea. Um, but I built a few after that same, and it's nimble, quick and nimble. You got to have fairly good wood. I mean, it'll take on ugly wood, but you got to know what you're doing with an ax. So there's a, uh, uh, this is a laser beam ax. So I like these axes. So I'm going to bring a couple axes today and there's our wood bullet, our big mean wood bullet. something about when you you know like here's your regular style like right here right on the other side of the truck see that just normal second growth beautiful timber but then you know you come across here and it's like boom that's old growth root rot mind you but it's old growth and we're coming into brian's five acre piece my buddy that i look after is firewood for him and that you guys know who he is He's the guy that showed up at my bedside when I was a broken man in more ways than one and asked if I needed help. Didn't have to do that. It's not my dad. He's not my uncle. He's not family. He's my friend. And he asked if I needed help financially, if I was going to make it. I, I'm telling you right now, friends, that, that, that stuff, that goes to the ends of the earth with me. So he don't spend money with me no more. Oh, he's got his little Audi out. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see. So this is what all I can do to repay is 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 this. Is, is, this is my, my world right here. You see, this stuff. I don't think I brought a rope today, but we'll see. <laughs> so friends, we're out at Brian's. Brian, say hi to everybody. Hello there. They've been asking doing? about you. You look better. You look like you're feeling okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah. Good, yeah. good. Is that mine? Which one? A blue bin. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here. I didn't hear them. Well, I, I saw it. was empty, Brian. I checked it first, so... You're welcome. So, yeah. So, we're we're just getting Brian's bin down. So, friends, we're going to pluck... You pulling that out? Hey? You want me to put the buggy or... I was thinking... Have you got a little rope? I didn't bring my little rope with me today, but... I mean, I, I don't mind just... It's so small, Brian. Mm. I think what I'll do is I'll get this stuff in front of us here, up, yeah. so we can start getting closer back. I mean, I can always pull it like I usually do, yeah. but it's so small. I think I'll just bomb this by hand. Bucket, like if it's cut up, exactly. Grab it. Okay. Okay. We're gonna go with the the Tin Man. I know you guys have been wanting to see this power saw go again. So have I, to be honest with you. I'm gonna let it rip in this small wood. I'm gonna fuel up, and we're gonna get at it. Okay, friends, so once in a while, you, I mean, you're just going to get into this style of freaking bucking, right? It's just small wood. I mean, what are you going to do? Well, uh, I'll show you a couple things that are is dangerous, which you can do. The way I see this is if you don't have someone to move the wood around for you and hold your wood, you got to use your feet 
and the tip of your bar. There's no way around it. Let's choke it. I'm going to do a little bit of voice over here because I want you guys to to kind of hear what I'm saying here and sometimes the phone muffles it out when it's loud. I want you guys to, I'm talking about here now is wood. When you're bucking like this, it's not necessarily kickback you got to watch out for, which you do, but it's also stuff flicking up after you buck, like in front of what you buck. Watch what happens here. Watch this right here. Just watch out for kickback there, but it's not that I'm talking about right now. See the kickback I'm showing you there? So that's one thing you have to watch out. But when you've got all kinds of wood in front of you like that, watch what can happen. It can flick you in the shins or in the knee, and if you like that right there. Now watch, I do it again here, just 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 to give you an idea. You gotta watch out for flick back. And I'll tell you, it is no fun. Okay, friends, some do's and don'ts when you're bucking. This Tin Man 66, when you're bucking small wood that is, not necessarily any wood, small wood like this. Let's see how many pulls. Okay friends, I'm just gonna play this thing. I'm not gonna do voiceovers or nothing. I'm just gonna play this sucker and uh, and you guys can watch and see what happens here. But, but I, what I'm asking of you to do right now is just watch me run the power saw. Watch how I use the tip of my bar. Now I'm talking about flick back right now. And that is when you're bucking something, 
and there's something in front of it. I mean, that means closer to you. You finish the buck of the log and the chain catches something and flicks it back. You gotta watch for stuff like that as well as kick back, right? So I'm just gonna play this out. I'm gonna put some bucking in here. Uh, I'm gonna jump around. I want you to just watch how I run this small wood that I'm bucking right now. I don't wanna cut in and out on voiceovers. I just want you to listen to the power saw and watch me run it, plain and simple. Hopefully you can pick up some tips. Stand up and buck, friends. Okay, friends, this thing's ready to be tuned. It's running good, but it is a little bit fat. I'm gonna go tune it. 
and keep rolling. Friends, if you get caught, and the reason I did is because I swapped my pants out today. If you get caught without a jet driver out in the bush, but you've got your pouch and your wrench and your files and all that, grab your file. Get your flat file, okay? Go like this, friends. Right? Make yourself a flathead screwdriver. Uh, I did some work to this this uh, saw last last night. Me and me and the Tin Man were playing around with some ideas, and uh, it didn't. After we played around with it, I forgot to uh, tune it. Flathead screwdriver, right there. There's your tuning jet. saw is running really good right now yes you can good let's swap out watch me deal with this stuff just watch what i do watch my sawmanship it's a little fat on the low jet that's all <laughs> did so.
Friends, watch how I use my tip here now. I'm just gonna keep rolling the film, but watch how I use my tip. I don't go right behind the log, like over top of the small logs I'm bucking. I'm talking about when I turn around and get into this small stuff. I kind of bore in the top, if you'll notice, so I don't flick the log around. Just watch how I use the tip here.
Good morning, friends. Tin Man saw. I'm starting to learn the learn the jetting on it now. The carbs, uh, it, the carbs a big carb for that saw. Good morning to you. See my new coffee cup. My wife brought it home for me. She sure looks after me. A good woman. <sighs> Anyways, friends, uh, I I'm a visual learner myself. I, I'm a visual learner, so. Uh, I don't want to, I, I hope if you're running power saw or wanting to get into running power saw, friends, I, I can't stress and I can't change your mind and I, I'm not here to do any of that. I'm here to give you another aspect of how we do it here. Um, it, it's different all over the world. We all have different methods of doing things. Uh, Someone will ask me, why do you use such a long bar to cut such small wood? I say, the smaller the wood, the longer the bar. Friends, I bend over to move wood around a little bit, unless I'm using my tip. It takes some time to get onto it. But when you've got all that wood, could you imagine? I mean, you've got all that wood to buy. What are you going to do? Build some scaffolding and hand bomb it up and put it all in rows and stand up and sure you could do that you could do that if you've got the patience but I'm talking about firing up a power saw and bucking get yourself a long bar stand up and buck learn your tip learn to file and I'm telling you I, I, I could finish that whole pile right there standing straight up anyway friends uh, I hope you enjoyed I'm enjoying making these videos for you. I hope you get something out of them. If not, it's okay. Someone will. <laughs> Someone will always grab something out of it. And that's important to me. Even if I help one person with this who knocks off their short bar, throws a long bar. I know a few people that have already done it and they're like, I can't even believe we've done this for this long. I don't, I don't understand it. <laughs> it's because we were taught a certain way. All of us were taught a certain way. Anyway. Next video will be up. I'm down helping the dad of my, helping my dad split firewood. He's got a load of firewood down there. I'm giving him a hand. We're throwing some axes around. It's what I do, friends. I'll talk to you soon. I love you all. Be kind to one another. Over and out.